Should you invest in Qualcomm? Let's analyze it on growth shares. This analysis focuses on three factors, the business, the stock, and the price. There are 11 metrics that make up those three factors. The three factors and 11 metrics are graded on a scale from 0 to 99, with a range from 50 to 59 considered average. When we combine the three factors, we come up with our company's final grade. As such, most companies I'll analyze in this channel will fall in that average range since most companies are indeed average long-term investments. I've made an explainer video going to detail on the three factors and 11 metrics I use to analyze companies. Link to that video in the description. Each company belongs to a specific sector of the economy. My analysis normalizes the data so that we can compare companies between sectors. I encourage you to pause this video anytime. Let's first look at the company's business. The business factor accounts for 45% of the analysis. The business is the most important part of this analysis. Everything else should be secondary when it comes to investing long term. The question we want answered is, do we think this is a good business to own? The business is made up of these six metrics, from growth, efficiency, to market dominance. Each are weighted based on importance to the business factor. Let's first look into growth. How much is the company growing? Next, let's look at margins. How much output is generated for every dollar kept? Third, operations. Is the company wasting money in the conduct of its business? Fourth, debt utilization. How much debt is being used to fuel the company's growth? Fifth, efficiency. Is the company using revenue to grow, expand, and innovate its business? And sixth, market dominance. Is the company close to being a monopoly? To recap, here are the six metric grades for the company. And when we put them together, we get the company's business grade. Next is the company's stock. The stock factor accounts for 35% of the analysis. The stock is important because we want to know if investors see value in the same business. We still want a return on our investment. The question we want answered is, will the stock grow enough in the future to justify an investment? The stock is made up of these four metrics, from performance to dividends. Each are weighted based on importance to the stock factor. Let's first look at the stock performance. Is the company's stock performing as well as the overall market? Next, let's look at dividends. Does the company pay out a dividend and how much? Third, technicals. What are short-term traders looking at in the company? And fourth, Wall Street. What do other analysts say about the company? To recap here, the four metric grades for the company. And when we put them together, we get the company's stock grade. Then is the company's price. The price factor accounts for 20% of the analysis. The price is important because it tells us whether the company's stock price is attractive enough for us to buy in. The question we want answered is, what is the most you should pay for the company? The price is made up of only one metric, the intrinsic value, or fair value price of the company. Here's the company's price grade and the fair value price compared to its current price. Before we calculate our final grade, consider becoming a GrowthShares Patreon member and get access to my spreadsheet with every grade from every company I've analyzed. It's updated all the time. Head to patreon.com forward slash GrowthShares or click on the link in the description. By combining the business, the stock, and the price, we can get our overall outlook of the company, which gives us this final grade and its type of investment. This analysis uses public financial data, research, and a proprietary algorithm to come up with this company's grades. But what are your thoughts? Do you agree? Want to talk business? Email me and follow the instructions on the screen. Invest wisely, and as always, take care of your money.